What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be kicking off the full stack React TypeScript.net finance project. I know that's a lot of words there. This is going to allow you to be able to search for your favorite stocks, add them to your portfolio, where then you can find the income, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement for said company in your portfolio. First things first, this is gonna be a three-stage course. First, I'm going to start off with React TypeScript. I'm gonna switch over to .NET backend. And then in the third part of the course, I'm going to bridge them, I'm going to connect them. And in the later stages, I might actually add more to the finance app. So if you want to see other things, maybe you want to see a certain type of calculation, make sure to leave it down in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to take it into consideration. Next thing is this is going to be a beginner immediate course. Many of my courses are aimed at total beginners, but this is going to be more for the person who's trying to actually build a portfolio. I am going to explain most of the concepts, but just realize that this is going to be on the more intermediate side. Uh, knowledge of TypeScript is highly recommended, but if you're already a .NET developer, if you're already a Java developer, TypeScript is going to be real easy and learning TypeScript most of the time just comes down to actually learning it. So let's go ahead. We're going to dive in here and we're going to actually install the app. So the wonderful people at React have already made a template for us. So we don't have to actually worry about setting up anything. We just need to uh, use this command line right here. If you don't have npm install create or if you don't have create React app installed, just go ahead and install create react app, react app. I already have it on my computer and I've already created a folder in my documents. So I'm going to go into my documents folder, go into my fin shark folder. I already created, like I said, I already created this and I'm going to go ahead and open this with VS code. You can name this whatever file that you want to, but I'm going to name the app fin shark, just a cool little startup sounding name. So once again, npm install create react app if you don't have it already and i already have it so there's not going to be any loading time and what i'm going to do is go ahead and paste this and if you go to the actual react website you're going to get this but we need to modify this uh line right here this command line real real quick so what we're going to do here is i'm going to go into the middle of it and i'm going to type in front end and that's because I want the name of my app to be front end and I'm going to name the back end, back end and the front end, the front end, because this is once again, the front end of the app. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And what you will see is this little folder pop up. We're going to see a bunch of packages installed and I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video and resume once it gets done downloading. And we'll talk about the actual file structure and the differences between plain Jane react and TypeScript. So the folder structure of a plain Jane React app, I call it plain Jane for some reason, a regular React app is going to be slightly different compared to a TypeScript folder. The differences are going to be relatively minimal though. And the biggest difference, and this is my personal preference, the biggest difference is going to be that it has this folder called a TS config. And this is almost the dashboard. This is almost the control panel. This is almost the master options that you see in a lot of software for TypeScript in your React project. You can do things like configure the compiler. You can allow JS, you can turn off JS, you can turn on strict mode. And a lot of the issues that are not related to the actual code and are more related to the settings are going to be found in this. Maybe not issues, but maybe a misconfiguration, as you would call it. A misconfiguration causes a strange error that you are not familiar with. A lot of the times, it's going to boil down to you coming down into the TS, TS config, just typing the issue into Google and typing in the issue followed by TS config and, and researching different TS configs. And Although this isn't an annoyance, you're probably just going to have to sort of get used to TypeScript configs because you're going to see them everywhere. TypeScript configs are in just regular TypeScript projects. So 
Biggest difference I think is going to be the TS config and realizing that the TS config can cause a lot of issues. It can cause a lot of heartache for a lot of people is one step closer to you being able to diagnose a lot of your issues. The obvious and most visual difference between the plain Jane React and the uh, TypeScript React is going to be this thing called a TSX file. A TSX file is going to be the JSX file for your project. TSX is just the TypeScript JSX version. And if I could give you a piece of advice is to no matter what, always use TSX. And this is just an, an opinion of mine, but I found that using just regular TS files and JS files within a actual TypeScript project or a TypeScript React project leads to a lot of issues and leads to a lot of TS config problems as well too. And if you just want to kind of skip a lot of it and you want to just make sure that everything works correctly, I think just using a regular TSX file is going to be, f is just a good rule of thumb. You can use TS files, but a lot of times, like I said, it's gonna cause issues. So in this project, we're gonna stick to TSX files. Also, lastly, I am going to be using snippets. So snippets are going to save you a bunch of time. And I'll show you the actual one that I have installed. I have ES7 and it's called ES7 React Redux React Native Snippets. And 99.99% of the time, whenever I'm in a React project or whenever I'm in a React TypeScript project, I'm using, I call it RAFC. I don't really know the actual, it's, I've used it so much that I just have almost like a nickname for it. I call it RAFC. And this is the snippet that I use 90% of the time. I don't even know any other snippet off the top of my head. And TS RAFC is the actual TypeScript version. So just remember, I'm going to be using RAFC a lot. I'm going to be using React snippets a lot. So if you want to be able to quickly just uh, new up a actual TSX file or a React TypeScript component, make sure to have React snippets involved in TS RAFC. You could do this on your own, but I don't recommend it because it's going to save you a lot of time. Anyways, that's the intro video. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.